So round one of a six round contest with just one fall to decide between Honey Boy Zimba, Sierra Leone, West Africa, the boy with a 19 and a half inch neck, 14 stone 13, a real solid muscle there. Barry Douglas leads his opponent at 15 3. Barry Douglas, we haven't seen for quite a time on the television screen simply because he spends most of his time on the continent, especially Germany, where he wrestles a great deal. Barry seldom comes back to this country now, but it's nice to see him back on the small screen again. Barry Douglas of Leeds. Emil Poil, the referee. On this bout, but of course uh, that will change on the main bout, the... Uh, the Commonwealth Heavyweight title, which follows this one. stuff. Simba with a double-handed wrist. He was looking for the back elbow, but he wasn't there. Headlock again, a good vicious one, but it landed well, thrown off equally well by Zimbo. quickly for a heavyweight. Oh, nice trip by Simba. Nice trip. Reverse side headlock to follow it. He wouldn't break when he was told. And 12, any 12 referee will not stand for too much of that. A couple of minutes to go in this first round of six. And a slow hand clap now coming for Barry Douglas's moves. And Zimba very seldom delivers those head butts to the forehead unless he, uh, his opponent starts the rough stuff. for the far grapevine but missed it. So the back hammer on by both hands and the right knee. The head mayor and releases the backhammer on the throw. Less than a minute now. Reverse side headlock to Douglas, but whipped out and reverse whip very quick. And the backbreaker over the knee. Seven seconds. And through the rope.
let's see how different Honey Boy Zimba looks with his moustache and small beard there. Changes his face quite a bit, this boy from Sierra Leone. But he's still tough. Very powerful indeed. Those biceps, which he carries out most of his hold, really come into operation in a minute for sure. Second away, round two. Five rounds to go. One fall decides the contest. Honey Boy Zimba, Sierra Leone. And there's Barry Douglas of Leeds. As long as Douglas keeps the freestyle wrestling rules, I think the crowd, the packed crowd here at the Civic Hall Sully Hall, will warm to this preliminary contest, despite the fact that the one that they're really waiting for is Count Bartelli versus Pete Roberts for the Commonwealth Heavyweight title belt, which follows this. Still the loose stranglehold, but the headlock is there, making sure it stays. Zimba try a slam on his left side now. He was thinking about it, but he couldn't get it in. The stranglehold still very definitely there. But not if he uses the top rope illegally. Full Nelson now too. Douglas. If that hold was reversed now, I think Douglas would be in trouble, but Zimba shouldn't have too much trouble breaking it. <laughs> Not that Douglas is any weakling, but uh, he's got some power up against him tonight. He tries it again. Another way out, the follow down a little bit late. Trying to get him to break, but Douglas won't break. And he's clear, and even then he wants one more. Get a public warning for it. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Douglas received his first public warning. And again on the ropes, Barry Douglas going flat out, though he's been told to break, just after receiving his first public warning. Don't you remember Barry Douglas doing this before he left this country on the continent? Certainly not so often. A couple of minutes to go in the second round. And the ropes. Zimba getting his own back now with some few illegal moves. If he's allowed to deliver them. But he's not. Douglas reached that backhammer from there. He's got the double wrist lock on pretty firm. No, he'll never get the shoulder blades down on that. His own arm is preventing. He's going for a back drop in a minute. Had to release that backhand there. One minute to go, second. 